Thank you for joining us for another episode of Exposing Scientology, where we reveal what really goes on inside this business masquerading as a church. Hi, nice. everyone. Here we are. Hey. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. I love your new intro, Mike. Very Thank you, nice. Mark. And that is uh, actually, that's not the final version. Um, Kelly Copter helped with that. And oh, yes, Kelly Copter. Yes. <laughs> and there's, uh, there's a slightly revised edition coming, but I wanted to use that one now. Um, trying to get some standardization. Uh, Christy pushing like crazy to become <laughs> more professional on the uh, YouTubes. And <laughs> that that is a part of it. And that also now we use as the intro to the podcast episodes that we are converting these YouTube videos into podcasts because so many people ask, as you guys have already been doing, because you know that that uh, is a popular format for people who don't. I, I guess that they don't want to just listen to YouTube without looking at it yeah well, well, a lot of people listen to podcasts on their way to work or yeah. while they're gardening yeah. or while they're working out or going for a walk I, I mean i i do it all the time i listen to podcasts all the time in place of radio anymore really so yeah it's, it's helpful in that format i know but why why is that such a good format why can't they just do it on youtube this is because they they listen a lot uh 54 percent of the people who download the blown for good podcast they listen on a phone and they listen on the apple podcast app so okay they, they're they're so they're on the apple podcast app it's familiar it's something that they use all the time so yeah it's yep. easy to just click on yeah and, and it, there's and a, it, there's another factor too which is that if you don't have a paid subscription on youtube you have to have your phone on all the time which is not uh, like if you, d whereas podcast, you can just, it can be in sleep mode or whatever you call it, like not activated. <laughs> it just downloads. If you're, if you yeah. are a, a follower or subscriber to that podcast, it just downloads every episode we do. And so when you go to your phone, it's just sitting there waiting for you. Yeah. Okay. All righty yeah. then. Uh, now, thank you for explaining that. <laughs> of course. I'm sure everybody that's watching this understands it, and I'm the only only dinosaur here that doesn't get it. But <laughs> no, <laughs> now you no. know. Now you know. Well, we already got we're, a thousand we're, people in here. Uh, yeah, we're, in, we're learning in this the, we're live learning right the now. interwebs. Us us born in a cult folk. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're doing pretty good, Mike. Considering. Yeah. All right, honey. <laughs> well, all credit to Christy. Oh, thanks, honey. Like, hey. like the uh, like the football players say when they're being interviewed after they just won the game. Yeah. All credit to God. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Hail the Christy. other team, not so much, oh. but okay. I do the all credit to Christy. Oh, actually, I should be going that way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go. I know it gets so confusing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, intuitive. we're going to talk about a subject that is uh, unfortunately. Uh, very real to all of us, which is disconnection. Yep. And um, we're going to do a little bit of a an historical background, and then why uh, talk about why this has come up as a subject to discuss today. Um, as you probably are aware. For many, many, many years, Scientology, uh, this has been a, a real thorn in the side of Scientology. Uh, people have said, you know, you break up families, you have this policy of forcing people to be disconnected from their families or their friends, and they lose their jobs. And, you know, it, it's been one of the things that Scientology has had the most difficulty dealing with. And for many, many, many years, the solution to that problem was to simply claim it was not true. I mean, they, they literally are quoted all over the media saying there is no such thing as disconnection. It does not exist. Um, every now and then they'll throw in the sort of like, as you characterize it, uh, but they 
basically have said uh, disconnection is a fallacy. It is one of those inventions of the bitter defrocked apostates on the fringes of the internet who uh, make up terrible stories about how bad Scientology is and how everything is rotten, but it's actually not that case at all. We're the nicest people in the world. We're so pro-family. We help people reconnect with their families. Oh, and it goes on and on and on. Yeah, they double down when they say that's not a such thing. And they and they even say, in Scientology, we value the family. And we <laughs> encourage our members to be very connected to their family members and respect the religious beliefs. They try to make it like, oh, they believe, or your, if your family members are not Scientologists and they believe in another religion. And we're like, yeah, we're not talking about any of that. <laughs> yeah, well, nope. and, and there is a, a very famous clip um, which Mark kindly brought to the uh, table today of Tommy Davis on CNN uh, responding to questions about this. And I just wanted to start with that because it's like the perfect framework of putting all this into context. Yes. Here we go. You want me to put it up? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh. Something about yes. the church, and this is what this group Anonymous is protesting. They, they, they claim that the church separates family members, and there, there is this um, practice of disconnection, where if you're a member of the Church of Scientology, to the best of my understanding here on, on, on this issue, because I'm not a member and I don't fully understand it, but if you're a member of the sure. Church of Scientology and someone in your family or a friend or your spouse is skeptical or critical of the Church of Scientology, you are supposed to disconnect yourself from that person. And, and Jenna Miscavige Hill, who is a nurse, uh, a nurse, a niece rather, of the church's leader, David Miscavige, says that happened to her, which is the reason she left the church a couple of years ago. And she now has a website bringing together former members of the Church of Scientology to talk about issues like this. Well, I mean, first of all, this is a perfect example of how the internet um, turn, turns things and twists things. There, there's no such thing as, 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 as disconnection as you're characterizing it. And, and certainly, mm -hmm. you have to understand. Well, what is disconnection? Scientology is a, a new religion. You have the majority of Scientologists in the world, they're first generation. So their family members aren't going to be Scientologists and this kind of thing. And, and Scientology absolutely mandates, and it's really part of, uh, of, of the code of being a Scientologist to, to respect the religious right. beliefs of others. So certainly, well, someone well, who's a Scientologist well, is going to respect their family members' beliefs. Well, and, what, and, what is, what and, is and we consider then? family to be a, a, a building block of, of, of any society. So a, anything that's characterized as disconnection or this kind of thing, it, it's, just, right. it's just not true. There, there isn't well, any such policy that, in the church that, that's dictating who people should or should not be in communication with. You know, it's, it, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't happen. Every Scientologist that watched that yelled at the screen and said, bullshit, Tommy. I haven't yeah. talked to my sister in 27 years because of that policy. <laughs> on, on the positive side, that one clip from Tommy Davis alone is probably responsible for what? Like the uh, exit of about th of thousands of Scientologists, no question asked. It, it, it planted yeah, like, another seed. Yes. It just planted yes. one more seed. How lie like oh, that? Oh, they lie. lie. Okay. They lie to the media. <laughs> well... And, and you know, one of those one of those people that left following that was Paul Haggis. Yep. Right. This was one of the big motivations that and the the uh, gay marriage bill in California. I mean, mm -hmm. when Paul saw that, he was like, "This is just this is outrageous." My wife was forced to disconnect from her parents. You know that, Tommy. And he told right. Tommy directly, like. You know that this is exactly what happened. You're you're totally familiar with this. What happened? And you go on national, international TV and lie about it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, yep. so. And, why, and that, wasn't that in 2009, approximately 2010? I think it was 2009. I think or it 10. was 2010, but yeah, either nine or ten. Let's yeah. not forget, Tommy Davis himself blew the Sea Org after that and is no longer in Scientology, he will still, uh, he'll say no comment if you ask him about anything. He won't throw them under the bus, but he certainly isn't uh, at, the, uh, at the ORC doing courses or counseling these days.
Right. Hell no. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. So all of us here have experienced this personally. All of our, the four of us, our family members have all disconnected from us on the basis of being ordered to do so by Scientology. Without being able to have a conversation with us personally. Correct. And yeah, he, he also said that there, the majority of Scientologists are first generation Scientologists, which we all shook our head at because <laughs> all of us here are basically second generation. We are. We are. We are. Yeah. None yeah. of us, none of us got into Scientology of our own volition. Yeah. We all got in either at birth or, or as a result after. of our parents right. getting into Scientology. So exactly. yeah, like, and, the, uh, and even Tommy Davis is a second generation Scientologist for yeah. crying out loud. And, and also, probably the majority so of Scientologists David, these yeah. days are second generation Scientologists. New people aren't getting into Scientology. Yeah. And that's the to Google. Yeah. And that's the clincher <laughs> is that they're disconnecting Scientologists from former Scientologists. They're not right. disconnecting Scientologists from a person who uh, believes in uh, another religion. It's connecting Scientologists from ex-Scientologists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is the one religious belief that Scientology does not stand behind. Yeah. I mean, actually they don't stand behind any of them, but they say they do. They yeah. say that they support the rights of everybody to have whatever religious belief they choose with one exception. I'm not a Scientologist is the religious belief that they absolutely do not countenance. Yeah. That is yeah. That's yeah. the terrible. <laughs> yep. Um, and, you know, we have all told our stories of disconnection. And, you know, this is uh, actually Christy, was on the front page of the New York Times, Sunday edition of the New York Times, telling her story about disconnection. I don't That's know right. if you guys know that, but this yeah. is her and her former husband, Chris, breaking with Scientology, front page of the New York Times, and on Anderson Cooper and a bunch of other people, and the I have show, done it. Matt and Lauer. Matt and, yeah. I mean, Mark and Claire have done this and been on numerous, numerous TV interviews and traveling. Mark, you went to Germany and testified about it. I mean, we have all talked about this ad infinitum because it is horrendous what Scientology does, but it's so galling that they lie so blatantly about it when there's so many people that know that it's a lie. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And because they have no real way to defend it besides just saying it doesn't happen. If they right. said it happened, people would be like, well, why are you doing that? That's, that's, I know that's kind of right. cool. That's kind of cruel. So what sort of prompted this discussion today is an article that I saw and it was on in Yahoo life and style and it talked about Danny Masterson's a strange wife, Bijou Phillips. We'll have to cut ties with him amid Scientology expulsion. Okay. Who knows if that's really true? You know, the rules are different for celebrities. But in the context of that article, they reached out to Scientology, and I don't, I don't know, I can't remember what the Scientology even answered, but they went to the website that Scientology uses. Oh, yes, they did. Scientology answered. Kareem Powell is quoted. And I then went to the website and went, wait a minute. What is this that they're saying? Because they have completely changed what they say on the Scientology website now. This is the page, what does suppressive person mean? And you will see to be declared a suppressive person is extremely rare. <laughs> and results in expulsion from the Scientology religion. Commitment of acts deemed suppressive acts in the Scientology Justice Code, which includes the suppressive act of publicly renouncing the faith, an act which in Scientology, as well as m almost every religion, is grounds for automatic expulsion. Okay, so here is Scientology actually stating that if you have 
publicly renounce Scientology, you are a suppressive person. It then goes on to say, when someone has been expelled from the religion, that person loses both his or her fellowship with the church as well as with other Scientologists. The condition lasts until they have been restored to good standing. Once the person has been restored to good standing, the prohibition against fellowship with other Scientologists is lifted. Scientology is actually now coming out and saying that uh, even though they're using the euphemism losing fellowship, which that Hel it, Hubbard has never said that word fellowship in any policy. <laughs> the, the try, I mean, th this is how bad things have gotten in Scientology. They are trying to identify that they are similar to the Jehovah's Witnesses because right. that's what it's called. It's called disfellowshipping right. in the yep. Jehovah's Witnesses. Yep. <laughs> They're trying to get themselves up to the level of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Right. But that statement blatantly flat out says that Scientology declares people as suppressive persons if they publicly disavow Scientology. That means saying anything negative about Scientology. And that as a result, any Scientologist is required to not be in communication with them until the church says, or Scientology says, the person is restored to good standing, at which point they may again have fellowship with them. Right. Yeah, so it just highlights the point that um, there's a, it's a one-way street into Scientology. If yeah. you want to maintain relationship with your family, there is no way to do that going into and then out of Scientology. There's no way to leave Scientology exactly. with, with ease. You cannot, you cannot join Scientology and leave Scientology, uh, you know, unscathed. <laughs> if no. you yeah. leave, you, yes. you will be hurt somehow, some way. There's no way to just leave and actually tell anyone, I don't, I'm not a Scientologist anymore. You can't say that. You cannot yeah. say those words without being punished. Right. And if you do, then you will never get your family back unless right. you go back into Scientology. Right. It's insanity. Yeah. And if yep. and if you have family members that are in Scientology, if they don't disconnect from you, then they will also be declared a suppressive person and then they won't be able to talk to anybody. So it's sort it is this Sophie's choice cool. thing where you you do you either lose one family member or do you lose all your family members? And so that's how they do this. It's like trying to get getting out of Scientology is like trying to cancel a Sirius XM su <laughs> subscription or something. I mean, it's just <laughs> almost impossible, you know, that the, so my first experience with disconnection was when I was 15 years old and Mark, you know, Kelly Wasserman. Yeah. Remember Kelly? We went yep. to school with Kelly at Delphi yes. and Kelly's father was declared a suppressive person and Kelly was given Sophie's choice. She had to either disconnect from her father or her mother. So temporarily she chose to disconnect from her father and stayed connected to her family, her mother and her sisters. And then after about a year or so, she decided, no, this is not cool. I never wanted to disconnect from my father. And she reconnected with her father and the rest of her family completely abandoned her. And I was really good friends with her. We were best friends. And I said to my father, I don't want to disconnect from Kelly. She's my best friend. What do I do? I'm 15. And my dad said to me, if you don't disconnect from Kelly, I'm going to disconnect from you. Wow. And that's literally what happens. I'm 15. I, He's, I had he, no idea about Kelly that that happened to her. Did she never go back into Scientology after that? Never, never went <gasps> back in and oh my goodness. has a whole other story. But at, at that point in time, I was forced to officially disconnect my first time ever at a 15 year old mm. child from my best friend, because I, my father was like, I will disconnect from you. Like I live in his house. I rely on him for everything. And he's literally telling me you disconnect from this person or you are out. 
like at 15, this is what my father is telling me. This is how serious Scientology believes these policies. Yep. Wow. That's insane. Yeah. But, no. but there, but I, I just want to make another point though, which is this is another little indicator of Scientology being forced to change by outside pressure. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, we know now that they no longer, you know, if a woman gets pregnant in the Sea Org, there's no discussion of abortions anymore. That is because of what has happened exposing this practice. Mm -hmm. The fact that Scientology now admits on their website that they engage in disfellowshipping people and that this is something that is enforced by Scientology and... Uh, only gets unenforced when the person comes back into Scientology or is restored to good standing, that is very, very different than what they have said for many years. And I take it um, as uh, an accomplishment for all the people who have spoken out, who have spoken up, who have made the point that this practice is going on and has been going on the entire time and that families have been being broken up. Um, it's not stopping them from doing it, mm -hmm. but at least it's forced them to have to admit that they do it. And yeah. <laughs> that's like, I know it sounds like I'm splitting hairs, but this sort of thing is very, very significant. This change did not happen easily. I promise you. This change in how they present uh, what the story of disconnection is was not a decision that was made lightly. And they decided that they were going to change this because they were worried about the, the problem that it will generate if someone ultimately gets before a court or law enforcement and is describing this and then they go and pull up the Scientology website and it's just a lie. Right. It, th their credibility keeps being challenged and proven to be incredible. And I just want everybody, everybody that's watching this, everybody who has ever stood up and said something about disconnection to take a little moment and go, hey, we had a little victory here. Mm -hmm. This is a little victory. We haven't ended disconnection, not by any stretch, but it's, it's moving actually in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Because if they're so worried about that and the, what they're saying about it, they're also worried about the ramifications of doing it. Right. Yeah. And we can, and we can call it disconnection. We can call it disfellowship. We can call it whatever they want to call it. Um, it's, st it's still it's ridiculous. Same thing. <laughs> uh, of course it is. But yeah. also if we think uh, back, like we know certain things that happen with inside Scientology and the organization, the, the um, strictness with which this is enforced these days is way less than it used to be. Mm -hmm. We have heard a lot of stories now of people who have been allowed to go and visit family members who were very ill or dying in hospital or something um, that back yeah. in the day when I was in the Sea Org, <laughs> it would never have happened. Yep. Those people would never have been allowed to go off on a compassionate leave to see a dying family member who had been declared SP. Yeah. yeah. And it is happening now. So I'm, that was what I, like I've dominated this conversation. Sorry guys, but no, this was just sort of, this came to my attention and I was like, holy tamale. I don't know that anybody has really focused on this. I certainly hadn't until that article came out. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's funny that they have their international spokesperson on TV saying the exact opposite thing that their website now says. So yes. that does 
give you a glimpse into how Scientology works as they will, when they're on TV, they'll tell you whatever they think TV wants to hear in, at the moment. They don't think anyone's going to go look up a Scientology policy after they watch the CNN episode, but all the Scientologists that are watching, they know the policy inside and out. So it's ridiculous if you're in Scientology when they lie, because they really do know um, exactly what Mike said. The policy has been heavily enforced for the last 70 years. <laughs> yeah. They they did learn from the Tommy Davis mistake. Doesn't matter if we're a billion dollar cult, best not to have any public person speak publicly about Scientology <laughs> yeah, on national television ever. <laughs> Unless she's your lawyer and you can just fire her after she says something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Blink, we're talking about Blinky McBlinkface. Uh, has, she, has she ever said anything about disconnection? I can't remember. Like I, on TV. I well, I think that she got asked about it somewhere. Maybe with Tommy Davis when she was interviewed on the Anderson Cooper thing. Yeah. I the think when they were sitting there together. Um, right. And I think that she has resorted to the same, um, well, uh, there is no such policy as you characterize it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Answer. You know, and that might have been a Dave. That might have just very well. I don't think Monique said it because Tommy said it. I think Tommy and Monique said it because that's what Dave told them. Hey, you yeah. gotta. It's this doesn't exist as you're characterizing it. So right. they, that's another thing that Tommy does in that interview. He no answers that guy. Um, he doesn't answer the questions that the guy's asking. He's trying to get out the statement that he's been preloaded by David Miscavige to give. And so he starts talking about other religions and stuff like that. Instead of saying, hey, did that happen? He's asking about Jenna. She said that happened. Did that happen? And then he just says some other thing. He never answers the question. That's a called a no answer in Scientology. It, or, or a yeah. newspeak news transcript dictated by David Miscavige, whichever yeah. way. Right. <laughs> okay, um, I just saw something in the comments that I want to pull up here. I saw it too, Mike. <laughs> I went, oh my God. And on A, Mike, you're being too generous. It is also still on the website that there is no disconnection policy, LOL. It's in the FAQs. If you put disconnection in the search, they contradict their own website. Oh, wow. somebody's got to screenshot that. Oh, yes. <laughs> Actually, Definitely. if you don't mind, uh, I'll do it right now. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah. So they don't even have their story straight on their yeah. own website. No, of course not. Nobody nobody w has had enough sleep in <laughs> That's Scientology exactly. to, to be thorough and change their story everywhere. Right. I mean, you know, I just want to make this fair. going to get caught. Go ahead, I'm going to go check it out. Osa, you're on the clock. Can you change the site <laughs> before I can find it? Okay. Start. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're having a an interwebs competition here, folks. This oh, is going to be funny. fun. Mark's going to win this. I have a feeling. Um, yeah, they. It's, it's yeah. definitely true, though. Can I add in what you said about how they they're inconsistent with this policy too, and sometimes they don't follow the policy, so they can try to, um, you know, maybe minimize some damage that they think is coming, and then they switch it up and and, and enforce it. So that happened to me with my ex-husband and his mother. So he had a lot of interaction with David Miscavige and David Miscavige's direct juniors when he was doing the Joburg Org renovations. And when he decided to leave the Sea Org, and when we left the Sea Org, um, shortly after Chris's, Chris is my ex-husband, his mother was declared because she blew the Tampa Org after being on staff there. And he was allowed to continue communicating with her because they didn't want him to turn into an enemy. So they let him for like a couple of months remain connected to his declared mother. But he continued to do his research and speak to Marty Rathbun and whatever. And then eventually decided I'm not a Scientologist anymore. And when they found out that I was also leaving Scientology with him and was planning to talk to my parents, they put the kibosh on it for both of us and declared us. But prior to that, he was allowed to talk to his mother, who was a declared SP, because that was keeping him happy. They thought that was keeping him happy and not having him turn into a worse problem for them. But then once he was, we were both declared and we all of our family had to disconnect from us. So they don't 
they don't follow it standardly. They pick and choose. They do whatever they want. They do it sometimes. They don't do it other times. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I can't figure out how to get rid of this comment now. Oh, here, I can do it. It doesn't say delete. There you go. Thank there you, Claire. You you're welcome. Okay, Mr. Headley. <laughs> Do you have I'm the just goods? Just prepping it for StreamYard. I'll just give me okay, a second. Good I have it though. I have both of them. And it, the person's right. It says it right there. There's no <laughs> such. It basically says just what Tommy says. <laughs> oh my God. And this sanity. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, crazy. Someone, crazy. someone uh, done messed up. Oh, yeah. Big time. They're like, You're right, though, Claire. I, this is... I know an idea. Let's update our statement. Yes, exactly. Okay, they probably went through what? What do you think, Mike? Like six weeks to get it fine-tuned and approved and yep. streamlined and exact words, and they're like, "Oh, finally, it's done. Post it." Nobody ever thought to be like, "Well, wait oh, a minute." Oh, what else do we say on yes. here about this connection? Yes, exactly. <laughs> it is crazy, and that is how the world of Scientology and particularly uh, the Sea Org works. And the, the sad truth is that you were exactly right, Claire. Nobody's had enough sleep to be thinking clearly enough to go, uh-oh, uh, we just changed this. We better go check and see if there's something else we need to yeah. change to. Or frankly, even to care enough because it's not that they, at this point, whoever's executing this are androids just carrying out David Miscavige's orders. Yep. It's not that they're invested or that they care or anything else. Of course, to them, it's probably even, it, the thought wouldn't even cross their mind. Like, well, why would we check every other places? Because they know it's all bullshit anyway. Excuse my language, but you know they're just wordsmithing at this point. So at following orders from David Miscavige. So you know, whatever. Okay, here we go. Okay. So this is it says what is disconnection, and then it has yeah. a whole bunch of nonsense about it. But then at the very bottom, it says. There is no Scientology yeah. disconnection policy that requires church members to disconnect from anyone, let alone family and friends who simply have different beliefs. Ha! Oh, really? Is that why wow. my children have never met their grandparents? And you know, this is exactly what I was saying before. Okay. This <laughs> sentence is what Tommy Davis said on yes. that interview. This whole exact thing is exactly what he said. So this was already pre-written and Tommy Davis said it, and then they updated everything to say this and they just haven't gone back and taken it off. So. And as you said, they love to double down. To the contrary, the moral code of Scientology mandates that Scientologists respect the religious beliefs of others. The church encourages excellent family relationships, Scientologists or not, and family relations routinely improve with Scientology because the Scientologist learns how to increase communication and resolve any problems that may have previously existed. <laughs> oh, is that so? Is that why you have many, many family members doing hate videos on us simply because we <laughs> escaped Scientology with the clothes on our backs after which you've you chased after us and crossed state lines in an attempt to bring us back. I mean, worlds apart, like the the level of lie is just so infuriating. I and know. Even, and even still, like this whole point about improved communication skills. So if their communication skills are so good, why can't they talk to us and hear what we have to say and decide for themselves? Like, right. why can't they handle our communication? We, yes. we have things to say. We want to tell our parents that, you know, here's what really happened. If their skills are so good, they'll be able to hear it and listen and, you know, decide for themselves. <laughs> but right. they and don't confront and have, shatter us. Right. And they yeah. don't even have the opportunity because ugh, anyway. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's such a like double speak, you know? Yeah. Newspeak from George Orwell's 1984. Newspeak. That's what yep. it's called. Um, Claire, I think it might be a good point to mention the uh, connect. Yes. Yes. Okay, people. To all of the people <laughs> watching here, um, as you can tell, we have all personally been impacted very um, 
at very deep levels by disconnection. And um, we're also, uh, obviously everyone knows, we, all the four of us here, work with the Aftermath Foundation on the board. And we have just launched a new initiative of the Aftermath Foundation called Aftermath Connect. And so if you go to the Aftermath Foundation website now, you'll see a tab that says Missing Persons. And in the theme of and continuing uh, the strength and courage of Leah Remini when she left Scientology and filed a missing persons report on Shelley Miscavige, we integrated that theme for the many other people that are in Scientology that nobody has heard from in many, many years. So if you go to this missing person page, it's a dedicated initiative that the Aftermath Foundation is just launching. Uh, we'll obviously be putting this in our newsletter that's coming out shortly and talk about this at our next fundraiser. But if you have a loved one in Scientology that you've lost contact with, you can submit a page with a message to that person. Anyone else that has information on that person can also submit that. Anyone that knew that person can post messages to that person. And this is the Aftermath Foundation's answer to fighting and exposing and targeting the destructive and evil practice of disconnection. So I uh, please help us spread the word and go check it out. We already have a few listings there. It's just in the baby, baby steps of launch. But the idea is that we will create a directory of all the loved ones we've lost in Scientology where we can post messages to those people. And should that person come across their page, then they can say, yes, I want to reconnect. And it will will obviously take care of all the logistics of that. You want me to show it? Yes, yes. please. Okay. I knew you this. were frantically typing away there. I know. I was, <laughs> I was clickety clacking and bloop, bloopity blopping. This is, this is one of our many passions of, <laughs> you know, battling Scientology and hopefully abolishing the practice of disconnection from earth <laughs> there it is okay there we go so this is so from the home page of the aftermath foundation you click on missing persons and this is the page and so if you click on where it says missing someone missing persons directory that's where you can submit a page for any person that you've lost to scientology you can post a message oh, to them down. you can do it anonymously or with your name doesn't matter um and um amy scobie who is also part of the board of the aftermath foundation will be the person reviewing the submissions obviously we have certain restrictions we're not going to this is not about hate or belief or anything else this is about reconnecting with loved ones that is the beginning and the end of this initiative awesome and then i also wanted to show you something else during this screen stream if you use uh merch me um we're gonna that'll enter you into our giveaway thing so hey. merch me and you get a giveaway we'll show oh, you. so you figured this little sucker out too he huh? Did. yes he we did. did and it works amazing <laughs> okay Yay. And i knew it would be amazing when it finally worked that's what i said last time <laughs> <laughs> you were right you were right and and what is it that we're giving away today um it's whatever people want so oh. the way we the way we usually do it is um during the week people uh people buy merch or they write to us or whatever and uh, I'm, I'm gonna say almost every single week somebody will send in and say hey i want to donate this amount for a giveaway so claire will know what those are but in the theme of today's um show on the spshop.com we actually have a reconnect the disconnected shirt so oh we do nice. we do we do oh yes. i want one of those yes i'll i'll send you one right after this I'll, uh, no I'll don't get one. don't send it to me okay i'll get it for you yeah yeah there we go okay <laughs> perfect but and and it doesn't have to be that i'm just gonna say that that shirt was designed with this initiative in mind that you know we were going to make a, a distinct effort to put our foot down and say you know what earth people families, loved ones, disconnection is not okay. 
This is not okay. It, it is somebody's fundamental human right to have a relationship with their family as a basic building block of humanity. Yes. Excellent. Amen. Awesome. Excellent. <laughs> well, we can give away the t-shirt. I'll, I'll do a signed book tonight. we you know, we can do a whole bunch of stuff. Awesome. I, I know that people really enjoy that. And it's sort of, you know, as we used to say, it's in the spirit of play. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. No, 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 no. This is a new one. This is a new one. Mark's version. Sharing is caring. Living is giving. Don't be dumb. Give me some. <laughs> That's right. I like that way better. Spirit of play. Yeah, there you go. Do we By the way, it's true. Is it true, Mark? Someone put in the comments. You only need to put merch me one time. You don't need to put it like keep redoing it. Yeah, no. that was on the banner. It says, use okay. Merch Me in the comments to enter away our giveaways during this stream. Only one comment is required to enter. Multiple entries are no needed. It's not needed. <laughs> it's not needed. needed. It's no, no needed. needed. No, no needed. needed. No needed yeah, at all. That. There you go. Yes. Not needed. And, and we just like Merch <laughs> Me because it's then it doesn't matter. It's something, a book, a whatever. So. Yeah, and the person can pick, frankly. It, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Should we do one giveaway now and then answer some questions and yes. then do a giveaway after we're done with the questions? Yeah, or we could do that. one in the middle or whatever. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do one it now and then. Perfect. Okay. So here, this is how it works. So we just share this and then we say, draw, poof. So I'm going to click draw. So see, it shows 325 entries yep. into this draw. And we could do multiple that. drawings. Uh, Does it uh, go through all 325? No, yeah, no. Not just, no, it, just Diana. Not just Diana. Congratulations. It Yay. does cycle through all of the entries on that screen. It flips through every single one, and then it just slows down when it gets to the end. Yeah. Okay. So, so Duchess Diana needs to write to Claire and say what she wants. Yes, but what so, do you do if you want my book? That's okay. Then, then she'll Either tell, way, and then we'll, we'll, we'll take care it of it. So, Duchess Diana, please send me an email, claire at blownforgood.com. Include the link from the merch store as to what you would like. It can be from Mike's merch store or from Blown For Good or from the spshop.com, which is where um, the Reconnect the Disconnected shirt is, for example. We also added new merch at the spshop.com. So, we have I Support the Aftermath Foundation hoodies and all kinds of great stuff there. Um, so, yes, just send me the link of what you would like. And I will respond with a giveaway link. So you don't need to send me your address or anything else, just the link to what you would like. Oh my God, we are so slick. Ah, We're trying. Yay. We're trying. We're Winning. getting better at this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, so we're going to do some questions. Yes, some questions. Whatever. Are you going to do the. Are you going to take me to read them? The... Do you want me to read them, Mike? Yes, honey. There okay, we go. something Perfect. good idea. Yes. Okay. Just well, not at the top. This is not a question, but hello, Apostate Alex. Big love to you all. ARC, Desemsec, SPTV, UK Foundation. Hey, <laughs> Al Alex, you got to stop the musical chairs. You yeah. were the DCO <laughs> something or other last time. Uh, yeah. Now you're the Desemsec. You, you just yeah. got, like, you got to get your hat on, dude. Or, I think that you should just uh, start calling yourself commanding officer, SPTV, yeah. UK. Or just put HFA at the end of everything, because that's uh, in Scientology. That's <laughs> held called from above. held from above. Yes. <laughs> Lovely. Here we go. Maria de Jesus Guterres. YouTube's in my pocket is not optimal because touch screen. I yes. wind up inadvertently clicking on every ad. Zero many funds. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> uh, that's what I was trying it. to explain, because I've good done point, it. Good point, Maria. I've done it always, and it's yeah. not good. Yeah. OK. All right. <clears throat> Valerie Bolajak, hugs and thanks to each of you. Thank you, Valerie. Nice. Hugs and thanks back to you. Yes. Nice to see you here. Lori Plantamuro. I come from a Christian family. I am a bastard child of an unwed woman from 1974 era. I understand the theory of disconnect. Thank you for all you do. Thank, thank you, you, Lori. Yes. Thank you, Lori. Michelle Carpenter, in imminent trouble source. 
FYI, our very own Marilyn Honig will be on this Wednesday's or tomorrow for patrons episode of LAMLM, followed by several Scientology SBTV episodes exposing the truth about this nasty organization. Nice. All right. Life after MLM. Yes. That's the name of Michelle's channel. Andrea Russo, super sticker. Thank you, Andrea. Hey. Hey, Phil. What did I do? Hey, Phil. Hi. Phil, yeah, restore I, your I stopped that one just because it was Phil, and he has got one of the more. He and Willie have one of the more famous and sad disconnection stories ever. So yes, hey yes. Phil. But yeah, by and the, his... by the way, Phil authorized us to use the "Call Me Billboard" artwork. On oh, nice. The Aftermath Connect page, so we will be adding that. Oh, nice. great! Well, yes. And, and his good comment: "Restored to good standing" means joining, joining Scientology, Scientology exactly. again. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> There's no <laughs> other good standing. You have yeah. to be back in the church. No. Which, and for Mark and I, just to be specific, that means we'd have to pay one hundred and sixty thousand dollars to Scientology. We'd have to, uh, you know. Go. And they wouldn't accept you you back. Of you two don't wouldn't. have, they pretend to have a reentry program for everybody, but it's really not for everybody. It's only no. for the people they will actually accept. And we aren't on that list. That's yeah. Right. The steps. Not to that get... we want to be, but I'm we're grateful. Just not. I'm yeah. grateful. I earned my spot on the never to be accepted uh, yeah. back <laughs> list. But it's just, a, it's just a totally untrue statement that everyone's yes. welcome back if they do the right steps. Yeah. That's well, just, true. just as is untrue to say that they encourage family family relationships i mean right. really ask right. ask my mother if she anyway whatever that's yes. the, we'll, we'll, we'll but abort. the steps to get back in are called the a to e steps which you will hear us talk about on uh, different episodes spe specifically in the spy files because osa are telling people to get through their a to e steps in all these files but the very the a step is the step a is to write up all of the things that you've been doing and uh, basically confess to all your crimes that made you leave Scientology and and to say I will I will stop committing these crimes and so that's the first step and then you have to pay the money their step to approve you to get back in is after you've done everything they need to do to neuter you as a threat once right. they've done all those things then they may or may not decide to let you back in but right. either either way, they've got enough ammunition on you so that if you do attack them, then they can pull up these things saying, oh, you admitted that you did all these crimes and that's why you love Scientology. And, you, and you'll say anything to be able to talk to your family again. So people write up whatever they want them to write up. And as you know, Mark, from personal experience, they also ask that people turn on and provide information about others who have spoken out yes. about Scientology. Yes, like they did with us when right. they when when the in our lawsuit when in the final um, judge uh, ruling we were ordered to pay forty three thousand dollars in change in court costs, and our lawyer said, "Hey, look, our clients will walk away. Just waive this bill." And Scientology said, "Nope." You've got to turn over the rights to Mark's book, Blown for Good Behind the Iron Curtain of Scientology. You have to agree to never, ever speak publicly about Scientology ever again. You have to turn over any information of any media person you've ever spoken to about Scientology. And you've got to turn over any and all communication with any former Scientologist you've ever spoken to. And we were like- And especially at the time, Marty, Rathbun, Marty was Marty their Rathbun. biggest, yes. we, he was Scientology's number one enemy. And they specifically named him in the document and any communications that you've had with Marty. And, and they would make a deal with us if we would do that, they'd forgive right. that money. They'd so, forgive that bill. And we yeah. said, no thanks. And wrote Here's him a check. cashier's check. And then of course, our good friend Jason Begay said, "Oh, you should, you guys should do a fundraiser after the fact of us having paid it." And so we were like, eh, "I don't know." And we did a fundraiser, <laughs> and seriously, to this day, that was one of the most incredible things we made back. Every, uh, you know, the fundraiser um, made filled that hole that we. I mean, we had sold Mark's fan. You know, we we had to scramble. I mean, forty three thousand dollars is a lot for anybody. I, I mean, I was crying every single day. I was like. 
oh my god there are so many good people in this world this is amazing and in a week we got all yeah, the money in, in a, a week. week you did yeah and i do want to say oddly enough marty donated nine thousand of that from a fund that he had created a legal fund that he had created for debbie cook yes and because it was a legal thing he asked all the people that donated hey do you mind if we give this money to the headleys and that put us you know i think it was yeah. over 50k in the end um it and, covered um, the gofundme fees and everything else there yeah. wasn't a whole lot of we we donated uh, to other people's gofundmes after that to <laughs> to, to Balance net it out. out you yes. all know i i'm right. a bookkeeper at heart so things like that really <laughs> matter to me <laughs> yeah but yeah uh all right free z new project of forsec fellowship seriously what does little baby davy think he's in middle earth this is tgac <laughs> common scientology get your fantasies straight <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I, like i said they are trying to sound like the jehovah's witnesses and the mormons yeah. fellowshipping and disfellowshipping is a term that they have made sort of acceptable yeah, yeah. I don't know who I don't know who uh, heard this one, but Skip I Press. Did. Okay, did you want to say something about it, Mike? No, no, just because Skip Press is someone who's been around for a very, very, very long time. Yeah, speaking out about Scientology, <laughs> and I just thought that was a a very apropos quote. This is good, but I don't think hell is going to freeze over until they get David Miscavige firmly inside. Yes. You're right, Skip. Yeah, yes. there you go. You know, one other thing I, before I forget, in one of those quotes that you read, the very first line said, it is very rare for someone right. to be a declared. Oh my God. There are more suppressed, there are more declared suppressive persons from Scientology than there are members of Scientology. In the 1990s, yeah. they issued a list of suppressive persons and groups that was tens of thousands of people long and that was in the 90s and they've been declaring people full time since the 90s so i would absolutely guarantee that it is not rare yeah <laughs> yep. yeah and and it's definitely fair to say there are more people whose lives have been devastatingly impacted by disconnection than there are scientologists yeah yep yep thank you sue l yes thank you and Kimberly Stovall, fellowship is so Baptist. I'm a Baptist preacher's kid. If someone is kicked out, it just means they are no longer members, but their family are still allowed to have them in their lives. Use yeah. of fellowship is a dog whistle. Great. It point. is. Absolutely yeah. right. It really is. Those people just can't come to the church sometimes. Right. Yeah. They still talk to their families. <laughs> yeah. They still go to Thanksgiving and Christmas and whatever. That is an important thing to bring up. I know there are some other religions where the shunning this disfellowship, shunning, fellowship, yeah. whatever. There's graduating scales of it. And maybe right. Mike is right. Maybe it's more akin to the JW version than it, it is. is to the Baptist version. But they they know that several religions have that same kind of terminology. So they're playing right. into that. They're if, trying to make themselves seem more normal. Yeah. Right. But really. but in practice, I think I also firmly think it's fair to say that disconnection is more cruel than death. I really do. It's horrible. There's yeah. no closure. Yeah. My, yeah, there's no closure whatsoever. My father disconnected from me. The last thing I heard from him was his smear video that he posted and then he died and that's it. So there's no resolution. There's, you know, it's, know. it's awful. It's really, really awful. Yeah. Angela, Leah, Joy Anderson. We are not Scientologists. My daughter, age 16, wants to go to Delphian. Can you go and graduate and not be a Scientologist? Technically, Don't go. Don't technically go. you can. But, <laughs> technically you can, yeah. and, and they do accept non-Scientologists, but they are an indoctrination school. So you yes. do not want to let your daughter go there if yeah. you really can yeah. Yeah. convince and, her of a yeah, large because majority she's going to be surrounded all of her friends are going to be scientologists yeah all people, their parents are going to be scientologists. at that age are incredibly impressionable peer pressure is a real thing we've all lived through it we all know it christy you and i have teenagers we know yes. what this is and mark and i went not, to delphi yes. yeah that delphi well, is the number one it's source dangerous. of recruits for the sea yeah. organization uh, and mm -hmm. 
The, yeah. At the end base, there was at least 30 or 40 people there that all came from Delphi. Many. And same all. thing in Los Angeles. Yeah. There were hundreds of sta yes. staff and Sea Org members in the Los Angeles area near the Delphi school right. that they recruit them from the school sometimes. They go to the school and recruit them. The teachers and, are Scientologists. The curriculum yeah. has has covert Scientology yeah. in it. Yeah. It's, it's it's a Scientology indoctrination school. School, so yeah, I, if, don't recommend I, it. if I were the parent of this daughter, I would find out in depth exactly why she wants to go to. She's Delphian. sixteen; she can watch she's, the aftermath. Yes, like, exactly. The, she she's can. old enough to watch the aftermath. Yeah. I would yeah. put her on the watch the aftermath, or watch any of these YouTube videos where. Mark and I have talked about Delphi. I did a whole video with Amy Scobie where I talked in depth about my experiences at Delphi. The recruiters showed up on the campus. Yeah. Um, yeah. The guy that girl, Jamie Wasserman, was a Delphi student. Yeah. The story Jamie that Christy Wasserman. was telling, yeah. that was Delphi. Yeah. The, the guy that's being sued right now, or that's part of the lawsuit, the recruiter, what's his name? Why can't I think of his uh, name? Gavin Potter. Gavin, Gavin Potter, Potter showed up in full class A, which is their fancy uniform to fake Delphi, Navy. fake Navy uniform to recruit young girls mostly and that they they're not safe there so that's our we're we're warning yep. you yeah and, keep and, her far far away find something right. else that fixes whatever it is is the reason she wants to go there in the first place yeah. there are many other accredited valid uh encouraging uh you know forms yes. of of replacing that and that's a good point too the delphi says they're accredited i know several students that ended up leaving um scientology but they graduated from the delphian foundation or whatever they call it the delph De is it called the delphian foundation or the delphian school I think something is the real anyway name. when they went to go to college they ended up having to do all sorts of additional um, courses and other things it's to be Delphi able to Academy. be able to even be accepted to college because the stuff that they did at the Delphi Academy yes. was useless and not recognized by any legitimate uh, college or, or or advanced education degrees that you'd like to get. So it's not yeah. a good idea. It's super expensive. It's a ton of Hubbard. All of the curriculum that Delphi uses is based on the works of L. Ron Hubbard. So they just take not, Scientology. Not yeah, not to mention the fact that we're all living proof. Scientology will uh, destroy your family, weaponize them against <laughs> yeah. you. And we're really sure hot on this never... question. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No! Don't do it. Stop. Don't do it. If you do it and something goes wrong, <laughs> we done told you so. Okay? <laughs> you and know. I'll... 16 is way Mike too young. Mike wants to say something and we're not even letting him talk. We're just going and going and going. Mike, what did you want to say to sweet Angela? Uh, it, 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 like it's not even that important at this point, but I was going to say, look, even if you do not graduate calling yourself a Scientologist, yeah. you will graduate applying L. Ron Hubbard technology to your life because you must employ L. Ron Hubbard study technology in order to participate in any of the courses at Adelphian Academy. So yeah. you will, in fact, be, by Scientology's definition of a Scientologist, a Scientologist by reason of applying the technology of L. Ron Hubbard in your life. Liz, Liz Gale went there. If you haven't seen her episode of the <laughs> aftermath or her videos or her Instagram or social media, uh, she went to Delphi and she went to the one in Oregon, which I think is the one you're talking about. Yes, that's right. Um, so that we got, we got, we got enough okay, people I, here. I just got to give Liz a plug for her sense of humor, her irony, her yeah. sense of humor. Her book is wonderful. It yes. is so funny and so uh, poignant at the same time. Um, that little comment is a glimpse of Liz's perspective on things. Yes, so, yeah. so, so that to that mother, <laughs> go read Liz Gale's book, yes. Confessions of an Ex-Scientologist. I, I know I'm missing the, the fun part of the title <laughs> where it's crossed out and says pothead or something like that. Exactly. Sorry, Liz, if I botched it, I did my best. But go read that book. <laughs> Um, yes. Don't and you have that on your nightstand? I do. I'm in the middle <laughs> of reading it. I'm, I already told Liz I would do an interview with her. It's just been a few, a few too many late nights of recent. I'm not, I'm not usually this slow at reading, but I'll get caught up. 
All right, here we go. Tenacious art girl. We, we've managed to finish the Delphi topic. It's amazing. Yay. Of all <laughs> of the ex-Scientologists y'all personally know, what percentage do you think ever join another religion after escaping Scientology or do the majority avoid any kind of religion permanently? I would say- It's hard to say, my, but- My answer to that is just ballpark based on what I know. I think um, probably about 5% find a religion afterwards. Quite frankly, speaking for myself, uh, organized religion carries a lot of trauma, and I'm still in recovery from that. So, you know, there you have and it. And always That's, will be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's my answer to that. I, I, I hold no grudges against anybody. I know there are actual many real religions. I've had some amazing talks with some ladies who are Buddhists and other things that I've, I have honestly found fascinating. I'm just like, let me read a book. And please do not ever tell me what to think about anything. I will literally show you the highway to hell. So. Uh, and I can I can uh, uh, concur or whatever. We had some JWs come and knock on our door. Oh, Claire gave it to them. They, <laughs> they. I think they put us on a list because they, they have never come back. They ever. had the unfortunate experience of coming to visit me. Mark was out of town. I hadn't had any coffee yet. My kids were super young at the time. And I opened the door and I was like, I've just spent 30 years in a cult. I am not talking to you. And I slammed the door in their face. And you know what? It felt kind of good. I got it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they definitely uh, put us on a list. Oh, uh, yeah. Good. good job, Claire. Thank you. All right. Don in Wyo. Mike, Christy, Claire, Mark, I love you all. My blah, blah, blah shirt is coming. Have Mike's signed book, want Mark's and Claire's book signed as well. Comment. The Amish shun seems to be a religious thing. I'm currently shunned from AG Christianity. Yes, yeah. it is a religious thing. I and mean, yeah. there are other religions and cults and organizations that do it. It's not just Scientology. What's AG? Thanks, Don. Do you know what AG Christianity is? I don't know. I can look. I'm Can trying somebody to... in the comments please tell us what AG means? We have a misunderstood word. <laughs> yes, we're going to all fall asleep. <laughs> okay, here's a good one. Barb tries question. What is the LRH policy covering disconnection? Like what is the L. Ron Hubbard policy? Yeah. You do it. Yeah. So which policy is it though? It's, I think Mark, you're muted. You're Mark. muted. Sorry. It's related to the, it's related to this whole technology, which is the PTSSP technology of L. Ron Hubbard. If you're a suppressive person and you suppress other people, those people are con considered potential trouble sources. And there's L. Ron Hubbard policies about that. And the only way you can not be a potential trouble source is to disconnect from the source of the suppression. So it's in the ethics book. There's other, poli Mike, do you want to specifically? Well, actually, what, what, what Hubbard actually says is, and this is where this the fudging always comes in. He says, handle, handle. or yeah. disconnect. Handle. In other words, yeah. you're supposed to handle the person to be fine about your participation in Scientology or to understand that their criticism was not well-founded or whatever. And that gets used to explain that this is a personal choice and mm -hmm. this you get to decide how you're going to deal with this and but an actual fact it is a suppressive act in scientology to remain connected to someone declared a suppressive person by scientology mm -hmm. right they they don't make mention of that part and that's what yeah was so remarkable about that thing we read in the beginning is that that, that in, in euphemistic terms, they are acknowledging that that is the fact, right. that it is dictated by Scientology who an SP is and that a Scientologist may not be in communication with them. Well, they're dis they lose their fellowship with them until... Yeah they are restored to good standing. Yep. Yep. And there's L. Ron Hubbard policies that list the suppressive acts. So that policy. Yeah, that's the thing I was going to say. It's a high crime high to crime. have a communication yeah. or be connected to a suppressive person in right. Scientology. Okay, yeah. Assembly of God. 
Of thank you, Dawn. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you, you Dawn. We appreciate it. <laughs> Margaret Krivenick, thank you for all you do. You are my four favorite SPTV folks. Wow. Thank, oh, you, thank you, Margaret. Appreciate it. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. Very thank kind. you. Anon A. We that did was this the one. comment oh, yeah. that okay. uh, tipped us off. Thank you, Anon A. <laughs> John, is the Scientology website managed by Int or Middle Management? Int. Int. Yes. Int. Mm -hmm. International Management. David Miscavige's uh, people. Yep. The yeah. top. At the top. Linda in Drissy, I have an ex sio friend who is now going through a soft disconnect from family. Any advice how to help support them as a never in? Mm. Good question. What's yeah. a soft disconnect? So I That's think it, I think it means that they're basically distancing themselves from her friend. This is my interpretation of that, and I I would just encourage the ex Scientologist friend to just let every family member know that he or she loves them, accepts them, and will always be there for them. Um, that's, that's what I wish I'd had the chance to tell my, my siblings still in Scientology that no matter what, um, you know, if that they could, I would always tell them exactly what happened and I will always be, be there for them no matter what happens. No questions asked. Um, I do not judge them. I do not, um, judge them for their beliefs, but I will be there for them. That's what I, that's what I would suggest. Good advice, Claire Bear. Thank you. Ken's channel. Dated a JW 30 years ago. First, she said she stopped going. After a month, she started going more often and then broke up with me. I now feel sorry for her because now I know she had to choose shunning or me. I don't blame her. Mm. Yeah, I hear yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I know. We all have those freaking professional grade elephant sized rear view mirrors that are really irritating sometimes. But yep. you know, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Catherine S. It's like they're doing you a favor by letting you talk to your family when they're inconsistent. Yeah. Exactly. Great <laughs> point. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. oh, great comment. It's so evil. It's so it evil so that they evil. have that level of control. It's I, just yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys the good side of this though. This is not all bad news here. No. Because we have a thing where we hang out with our neighbors on Fridays. And every Friday, I get to hear about the, the mother-in-law this and the brother-in-law that, <laughs> son-in-law this. And I always think to myself, dodge the bullet on that one. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and also, too, like all joking aside, um, I, I was greatly impacted by the fact of our kids not knowing our parents until I realized that the significance I was placing on it was because of my relationship with my mother and wanting my mother to have a relationship with my kids. And it's her choice not to. And unfortunately, the fact of the matter is, is that she has made herself strangers to our kids, as has Mark's mom. And so we went to a funeral when um, our kids were still pretty little, like our oldest was six or seven. And for whatever reason, again, like you were saying, Christy, when they alter things, it's just cruel. Mm -hmm. um, Mark's mom put on this show like, oh, hey. Love she talked you. to us the whole and, day. And, and her family were like, oh, my God, this is amazing. She's talking to you guys. And, and we were like, eh. I even told him, I said, watch, this is a show for you guys so that you'll back off on being <coughs> critical of Scientology as well, because otherwise she'll have to disconnect from you because they'd yeah. all read my book and they knew everything. Yeah. And then um, she said, oh, I'll send you some pictures of my sister. And she was talking yeah. to the kids. The kids, did, the boys didn't want anything to do with her. No, They're like, who is this, who is this woman? We had, right. to um, tell, we had to tell tell our oldest son, that's dad's mom that's your grandma and yeah. it didn't matter at that point what we said because she was a stranger right yeah. she, we it's not from anything we we've never said anything bad to our kids about our family except that we're honest with them and we say you know what sometimes yeah. unfortunately um family members make bad choices and they get involved in organizations that control their decisions as to who they can and can't talk to 
And hopefully one day our family will wake up and reunite with us. It's nothing you've done. It's nothing we've done. It's just that they're in a dangerous organization that controls who they can talk to. And that's right. the reality. Yeah, it's rough. I mean, poor Jack, he's had a, you know, a few years where they had grandparents day or they had this or they had that. And it's like, I don't have a grandparent. And we had a friend go and be the adopt, you know, adopted grandparent. Um, we'll come anytime, Christy. We'll come <laughs> anytime. It was, it was Uncle Paul <laughs> and it was the sweetest thing. And I was so grateful that he went on grandparents day with Jack so he could have somebody and not be the yeah. only kid without a grandparent. Yeah. And you know, it's just stuff like that is just so mean and just oh, ugh, it, breaks your heart. It really does. It's, yeah. It yeah. shows you the level of depravity that Scientology will steep to will stoop to in terms of destroying families. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Next comment. I heard that COB Miscavige is starting. This is from Rune Sky Sting. Sorry, I didn't say that at first. I heard that COB Miscavige is starting a cryptocurrency. <laughs> I wonder what it will be named. Theta Bucks or maybe Ngram's coin. <laughs> Theta Bucks. Uh, He's going to call... Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. BT coin. <laughs> Salty Beach Girl Lori. To be fair, how many people get past page one on website? Yeah. yeah. Good point. Good point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who even yeah. goes to that website besides the Nobody. click farm? The yeah. click farms they hire. Yeah. They have you guys, you gotta see this sometime. It's they have a, a Scientology as a web page or a YouTube uh channel and it just plays whatever's on scientology uh tv it just plays all all day and all night on their channel but um and whenever you go in there there's like four people watching but um they have videos like their super bowl ads or videos that they're trying to promote that have 50 million views but they only have like 80,000 <laughs> subscribers and so you see oh yeah they're they were paying click farms to get their uh, stuff watched that's the only mm. way they're getting their numbers up mm -hmm. it's ridiculous so ridiculous <clears throat> Zenobia Boyd hi from Scotland it's 12 30 a.m can't believe Tom helicoptered into St. Hill like it's 1985 what a <laughs> nut <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah we all concur Oh yep. my goodness like it's mission impossible yeah he yeah. could he couldn't confront and shatter the protesters so he had no. to fly mission, over them mission non-confront <laughs> oh my god he's ridiculous yeah og tebow question does cos encourage someone to drop the body if they can't <clears throat> get off psych meds because they want to unalive well first of all you can't even be in scientology if you're on psychiatric med medicines that's just any kind of psychiatric care is forbidden in Scientology. Yep. Um, but um, they do, if somebody is near um, unaliving themselves, they will tell them to drop the body. That is a command that they give them to drop this body and they try to kind of guide them to the uh, one they should uh, pick up. Yeah, but My that, sister. That, that's, that's not when someone is actually in that um, frame of mind. That's when someone is terminal in their illness. Yeah. You know, it's not it's not that that it's some, you know, otherwise physically healthy person who's made a decision that they no longer wish to live. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Before okay. we do another question, do we want to yes. do another giveaway? Yes, please. Take Let's little... do it. OK, Let's take, a break. You. <laughs> take a break. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so this is the last winner. We're going to draw again. I'm going to hit the button. And uh, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. We are at the Mercia stream yard. YH. YH. <laughs> YH. Yay. Send me Congratulations. Email. Congratulations. You win, YH. Send us an email at claire at blownforgood.com with your selection as to what you would like to receive. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Yeah. There we go. You, we'll do buddy. one at the very end after all the questions are done, guys. Yep. All right. Oh, we've only got 47 to go. All right. Oh, we're moving goodness. along quickly. Okay. Curly Kaylee, I have so many good wishes and admirations for what you guys do. A super chat can't fit all the words. Keep kicking COBs behind. Yes. <laughs> nice. Ma'am. That's or, not what yes, it said. 
Yes, it is. Well, you know, Mike, I, I don't mind saying, I mean, I love the doing the videos with you and all, but when it gets Randy in here, the videos will be demonetized, okay? <laughs> so we got to watch what words watch we it. say. Willie you is do. in the house. They are Willie losing Jones. it. Hey, Willie and Phil. We got them Yay. both. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Willie you is Emily's all mom. for bringing this to light. We still have hope to reconnect with our two children. Yes. 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 Willie we is Phil's do. wife who was on here you know earlier. what? You know what Scientology can't take from us? Hope. Boom. Boom. There you go. Okay. And Phil again here. We put our, Phil Jones, we put our two kids info up on the Aftermath Connect site. Thank you so much for doing this. Amazing. Great. Wonderful. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. And I hope everybody can share and help us spread the word, excuse me, <clears throat> spread the word on this initiative. It is, it is a, a, a project that is fueled by our passion to stop disconnection. So, yep. Yes. Free Zenu project of Farsec. My heart goes out to all four of you and everyone that has had this disconnection or whatever they call it, put you through torment that is inhuman. The cult of Scientology must end. Yes. Here, yes. here. Yes. Yes. Anon A, I'm glad you found it, Mark. It proved the lying right on their website. They can't both be true. It's, it's so ridiculous. Yes. Thank you, Anon A. <laughs> yes. It's so funny to me that our chat knows more about their website than Scientology really? does. Yes, for real. They do. <laughs> I know, How is that even possible? That's that's, 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 that's so yes. unfathomable that the <laughs> chat on our stream knows Scientology's website better than they do. That's probably why their uh, Scientology Whoa. is so dead set on watching every single minute of SPTV <laughs> <Yeah>. live. <laughs> they get more info on them than, than anything else. Yeah. Slatter Jill. Just want to say that you are all wonderful and thank you for all you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you. Blow me in Chicago. Mm. <laughs> okay. Scientology Yikes. in Chicago isn't doing that great. They invited me to a barbecue and asked me to bring food. <laughs> yeah. I didn't go. This month, it's an art fair without art. <laughs> you know, that's Ooh. so funny because everyone you talk to in Scientology, they don't get a lot of money at the orgs they don't have money to pay they don't have money to pay for dry cleaning they don't have money to pay for barbecues they're throwing but they have billions of dollars it's because all of it gets sucked to the top by david miscavige with this giant cash vacuum and so he's eaten uh you know sushi dinners flown in from the coast and uh wearing his fifty thousand dollar suits and italian loafers but they don't have money for a barbecue in chicago <laughs> well what's even worse about this is there are all the ads going out now for join us for thanksgiving it's a potluck <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god like the church can't even you know provide a turkey for yeah. Thanksgiving, it's BYOF. Just... <laughs> <laughs> well, those Sea Org members aren't going to have Thanksgiving unless you show up with some food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had peanut butter on Thanksgiving. We should so. we should ship turkeys to all of the orgs with Aftermath Foundation cards, curious cards. <laughs> Fancy Pants RN, Mike, when are you going to start a membership for your channel? Let us support in another way. Hmm. I don't even know what that is. You can you can have a membership uh, tier on your YouTube channel. So if somebody pays one buck a month, they get a video a day early. If they pay five bucks a month, uh, you know they get see videos earlier than that. Or it's you know I'm trying where, to where we've always kind of steered away from that is that by YouTube analytics, about fifty percent of the people watching the video are not even subscribers so then having a membership means you know they can see less even than that anyway whatever. yeah to each their own, I, i'm not like a do. big fan of all of this stuff like we we do this for the reason of making information available yeah. not for the for the motivation of making money yep yeah we were doing this way before there was a youtube and all this other stuff so um 
it is what it is. If you guys want to support, you can go to the uh, Blown for Good merch store and you can buy merch, or you can just send a straight donation there in the uh, merch store on any of our platforms. You can, yep, if you want to her. donate to us because you want to support us and whatever the, everything we're doing, you can go to any of our merch sites. There's a donation button there. Yeah, yeah. Britzy seventy four. Hey, getting used to catching you between two to four a.m. South African time. Thank you, Britzy. Look at that dog. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a question for Mark. Japan of Green Gables. Question, Mark, did your auditor Thomas have to disconnect from you? Yeah. Yes. He disconnected me so bad he doesn't even know if he's ever met an SP. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, honey! How long have you had that in the in what? the coffers waiting what? to say? No, I'm saying just, just for right those there. who don't know, Tom Cruise is who she's referring to. Yeah, Tom Cruise is my That's auditor. That's by and, the way. Uh, yeah, Japan oh, sorry, of Green he, Gables is the he. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. He. Anyway, oh yeah. God, um, he doesn't even know. He doesn't ever. remember <laughs> meeting an SP. Right. Was, that was the best. Just in case he's been know. waiting for that question. He may have sent out. <laughs> to people saying please ask this question because i've got a great line in response. I, did, I don't even know what i said that was so funny <laughs> well it was just the perfect perfect <laughs> comeback i mean it was like have you ever met a scientologist clip that kaden this... clip that <laughs> yeah this is a line that oh tom cruise yeah okay <laughs> Lithanda Grockling, disconnection wouldn't work if every Scientologist would ignore it. They can't throw out everyone. It shows what fear does to people. Love from Germany. Completely. Yes, thank you. Absolutely. Yep. You're right. Yep. <clears throat> Julie Landwer, sorry off topic. You all have talked about taking cruises. As someone who cruises often, what are your favorite ports? Mm. <laughs> We loved Alaska. Yes, we did love Alaska. That was super um, fun. Yeah, Seward. Um, St. Thomas was, the other was one? nice. Anch Anchorage. Where do we? We've been all over. It's too. We've had all kinds of fun places. So yeah. uh, we've been Bahamas. Yeah. Western Cozumel Caribbean, nice. Cozumel, Eastern Ohio. Caribbean. We loved it all. Yeah. Bonaire's fun. Yeah, we just we just love the. <laughs> Oh, no. You can only go there on the free winds. <laughs> <laughs> Dora okay, Explora. Hi, gang. I've lost track. Which website has the blah, blah, blah shirt? Hugs to you all. Mike? That is the uh, Mike Rinder merch store. Yes. <laughs> Link in the description. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mike's Matthew channel. Rinder's RBF. Mike, you look so healthy and happy lately. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry, Kathy. Bummer. That's nice. <laughs> Dr. X. Oh, Dr. X. Dr. X. X. Hi, team MC squared. Hand cramp. Hashtag hand cramp. Excuse to catch live. COS training. Doesn't have great media social training. <laughs> no. DM <laughs> spokespeople have all done horribly in every interview. COS where right hand doesn't know what left hand is doing. <laughs> yes, 100%. Completely. And you know yep. why the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing is because the brain, a.k.a. <laughs> David Miscavige, is broken. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yep. Look at that and new also, logo she's got. Did yeah. you see that? The I pill? see that. Dr. Very cool. Very cool. I, I wish your hand recovery from <laughs> yes. marking. Liz Fair. Hey, Claire, Christy, Mark, and Mike. Thank you all. Hey, Liz. Uh, Liz Hi, Ferris. Liz. We love you, Liz. I was going to say a lot of those people that are going on these shows – they're getting yelled at by David Miscavige seconds before they're going on live. Yes, and so right. whatever that last thing he said, <sighs> like you, if you don't, if you mess this up, you're never coming home, Mike. That's what you're thinking about while that guy's saying, is it true Dave Miscavige is abusive? <laughs> you're right. saying, uh, you're literally trying to fight the recollection from moron. eight seconds ago while they're asking you that question. <laughs> well, it's it, it can be even worse than that. I've had it where I was doing a live TV interview and Marty one time, Greg Wilhair another time, was standing in front of me while I was doing the interview, talking on the phone with Dave, who was watching the interview and telling them to tell me to say X, Y, and Z in the while middle of the you're interview. doing the interview. 
Oh my goodness. So, so, wow. so I was off by about eight seconds because it was real time. Exactly. <laughs> it was real time. The same thing used to happen when Marty and I were talking to Tom Tobin and Joe Childs at the Tampa Bay time or the St. Pete times. Then he literally was standing. We had to hold the phone like this so <laughs> he could listen to what they were saying. And then he would furiously be, be writing scribbling notes or having loose scribbled notes of this is what you have to say. And it would be like held in our faces with fingers like you have to say this. And the conversation may have moved on to something completely different and it would be completely non sequitur to say what was now on the page. Didn't matter. Yeah. You, you still have, have to, to say, say what he wrote. <laughs> Anything that you managed to accomplish, Mike, that was good or that was needed was in spite of him. Yeah. yeah. Really? He just made it so much harder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If people crazy. only knew what he was doing <clears throat> behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> X Miss Chief X question. Do you think that any of your family members will ever leave the cult? I do. Yes. That's the hope. That is yeah. the eternal hope. Yeah. I have hope for possibly my siblings. I feel very doubtful that my mother will leave, but my siblings are younger than me, so they have a lot of life left in them. So I'm very hopeful for that. Yep. Nice. Possibly. And like I said earlier, the only thing Scientology can't take from us when it comes to family is hope. Yep. There you go, Claire. Mm hmm. Laurie plays, not plugging anything, just saying thanks for all you guys do. Huge respect. Thank, Thank you, you, Laurie. Thank you, Laurie plays. Shelly Outlaw, question, is there a need to connect disconnected individuals with volunteer families for the holidays? That's a beautiful That's thought. Yes, we'll, we'll give that some thought because very possibly, yes. Okay, let's see. Dr. X, sharing love around. Do you all think your family want to speak to you, but due to disconnection policy, they are afraid to, or are they so indoctrinated that it won't matter if policy doesn't exist? Mike, Ozzy, versus SASF who wins yeah. oh, Australia wins there's no question <laughs> <laughs> and so well there's sort the, of a question but not in my mind but, but a rhetorical question yeah or a, you know yeah um on the family speaking for ourselves at least um we've had enough instances to know that the only reason our family doesn't talk to us is because of the fear imposed by Scientology yeah and so I mean, they were talking to us right up until they weren't. Even um, Claire's mom talked to us after she was told not to. Yep. And she talked to us for a little bit more. And then when she was going to, they, she knew she was going to get interrogated. She said, okay, I got I to gotta stop now because I'm going to, they're going to interrogate me. And if I keep talking Same. to you, I'm pretty sure it'll come up. <laughs> yeah. And then she'd have to choose between me and my three other siblings. And her husband. And that, that's, yeah. And her husband. And that's just not. That's cruelty right there. Yeah. Yeah. We get it's, it. It's the same. Like my mother spoke to me right up until the begin to the end and then a little bit more, right? Very around that time. And in the beginning, yes, I do think she wanted to speak to me and continued and didn't think anything badly about me. But over time, they're thoroughly convinced that me and Mike are horrible people. I'm married to Mike Rinder, this horrible, horrible man. So therefore, I'm a horrible person. So at, at this point, they've washed their hands completely and don't probably don't even think about it. They yeah. do think Sadly. about it. I guarantee it. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right, Claire. Yep. Okay. Nate Mink. Thank you, Nate. Yes, Thanks, thank Nate. You. That's very generous. Single loner. Claire, I travel with a stack of Aftermath Foundation cards with me, and I'm generous with them. Thank nice. you. Thank you, single loner. And we have new cards, so we'll we'll figure out how to uh, carry that. You should that. just put the file up on the site, and people <laughs> yeah. can download it. Perfect. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Marilyn Honig, Coffee, Colts, and Crafts. Hi to the Fab Four. Love for all you do. By the way, Michelle meant Roberta Blevins' podcast. She was on Fair Game with Mike and Leah. She is having wow. Liz G, Liz F, and myself on her podcast. Oh, wow. wow. That's nice. great. That's awesome. Amazing. I'm doing um, a little bit culty this week, too, by the way. Oh, yay. We love yay. them. Yes. Lisa D, <laughs> thank you for your super sticker. Nate Mink. As an NS, I love what you are doing. Idaho is behind you. Awesome. What, what's an, what's NS? an NS? Never in Scientologist? No, yeah, yeah. non-Scientologist. Non oh, there you go. Non-Scientologist. Sure. 
Okay. There's no. I don't think there's any Scientology in. Is there Scientology in Idaho? Probably not. No. No. Mm, there is no. not. Okay. Yeah. Good. Scott Ripley, Headley's dismayed over your 155k freeloader bill. The good news is that I found my old Monopoly set. It has over 20k, one dollar to five hundred dollar bills. Happy to contribute. Okay, yeah. so this this reminds me of a story. Oh, don't where, tell that. That's okay. gonna make me look horrible. Okay, 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 okay. I, I made a bet. I I made, I'll tell it now because now everyone's gonna. I have a terrible I, story about I this made, too. I made a bet with one of my kids. <laughs> and um, I can't remember what I think I wanted him to eat if he ate all his vegetables or something. I said, if you eat all your vegetables, I'll give you 50 bucks right here, right now. And I had already f I was just cleaning up in our basement and I found a 50 <laughs> and I just put it in my wallet as a joke, a Monopoly money 50. And um, so I was sitting at the table and he, I said, I'll get it's in my wallet right now. If you eat all your vegetables, I'll give you 50 bucks. He 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 to be ate fair, like a he whole was like six or seven years old. He, he ate an entire bowl of green beans. And then I pulled out my wallet. It was like a deal's a deal. And I pulled out my wallet and I when I slapped down that Monopoly 50, he started crying. <laughs> and I was like, oh, come on, Caden. <laughs> oh, dear. It was so funny, though. He's like, I never said I was going to give you real money. I'm I didn't like, say honey, U.S. dollars. You implied okay. that very strongly, by the way. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Warsatch 2112. When I tell my coworkers about all the Scientology stuff I've learned from watching you guys, they are absolutely floored. They don't realize how deep the crazy train goes. Yes. Yeah. It's a deep, it is. Yeah. It's a deep train. It's a, <laughs> yeah. Going through to the center of the earth. I know. Can, when honey, people can, ask me, I'm always like, do you really want me to open Pandora's box? I'm glad to, but yeah. I'm just warning you. That's what's coming. Yes, Mike. Sorry, sorry tell me, you, Mike. Cut you off. Can, the next one, can you please do the Daniel Chamberlain comment? Yes, ab absolutely. After this. Love, Sherlock. I have never been declared. Left in 79, I'm sure that if others like myself got declared today, that declared list might be declared. Okay. I, I didn't quite understand that. Maybe I'm sure that I didn't need to. Like myself I think it today, uh, might have meant to list. say might be longer or yeah. something. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. No, the list. Yes, well, that's right. I mean, I'm not going to look for Love, Sherlock. But um, the list of suppressive persons is a video on my website. I put the entire list into a video and it just scrolls every single name. If you want to find your name, it's probably alphabetical. So you just put it on slow speed and you can watch it. But that video is um, that was one of the very first videos I made on YouTube was every person and group that had been de declared as suppressive by Scientology. Yep. It's a big list. Danielle Chamberlain question. Can we please take a minute to remember Mick Wenlock who passed away this past week? May he rest in peace. Yes. I, saw I, that I did not know that until I, I saw either. that comment and I saw that comment and I nearly started crying. I'm sorry. I, I Mick, marked that because I, I, I knew I follow it on Facebook and I knew. I know. Him. And, and Mick was, I did a mission with Mick Wenlock when I was first in the Sea Org in like 1975 or something, and we went to AOLA, and he was he was the nicest, funniest, big old teddy bear of a guy that you could ever want to meet, and he and his wife have been around for a long time, helping a lot of people. Uh, they have a son who they adore and have, uh, I just couldn't say enough nice things. I'm, hmm. I'm sorry, Mike. It's yeah. We sorry. love Mick. Yeah. I'm sorry to have marked that in. No, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> happy you did. I, I didn't know. know. I know. I, will... I know. I'm sorry. I didn't know you didn't know, though. Otherwise, I would have. Uh, I would have handled that. I will. I will so. write to Nancy after we get yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. So rest in peace, Mick. Yes. Rest in yes, peace. Rest and in and peace, condolences Mick. to all the family. Yep. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Catherine S. Study tech. Get ready to get anxious if you yawn. Yeah, right. Yeah. For the rest of your life, you can never in, yawn again without in, feeling. In Scientology, worried. per L. Ron Hubbard, 
if you are studying or you're reading something and you yawn, that means you have a misunderstood word and you need to look, go get a dictionary and you need to look it up. So if you're studying anything around anybody who's in Scientology and you yawn, you have to just go get a dictionary and look at it because otherwise they're going to be like, uh, you're going to look up that word you passed that you didn't enter. Yeah. It's a super, it's, a, that's also a crime in Scientology to go past, to knowingly go past misunderstood words is illegal in Scientology. Yeah, but you want to know something funny? Do you know what every Scientologist is an expert at? Suppressing, Suppressing a yawn? A yawn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can, I can so almost true. do it, but. The, the very sides of my nose just turn white for a millisecond. <laughs> and Claire knows this because in her course room, I'd just be sitting there and be like, and then if, if she would see my nose get white, she'd be like, uh, do you want to take a look and see if there's a word there? And I'd be like, God damn it. Of all the skills you have to learn in, to survive Scientology, <laughs> suppressing a yawn. Suppressing a yawn, yes. Oh, okay. oh my goodness. Akasai music. When people leave Scientology, I imagine it would be quite traumatizing. Are people reluctant to get therapy? Yes. Many, many are. Yes, they are. Some are yeah. not. But that's why I'm that's why I'm starting my Ask a Therapist series. It's gonna be fascinating. Oh, I'm yeah. excited to hear about that. Yeah, one. I know. It's Sounds just good. to just to be like, hey, okay, you're a therapist. I'm a, I was born in a cult, spent 30 years, and was taught that psychology and psychiatry are completely evil. They're They've, they're the whole track people bent on destroying all mankind. Right. There's, so they work cool. for Xenu. They used yeah. to work for Xenu. Yeah. The psychiatrists. So, so let's normalize yeah. this and talk yeah. about it and compare auditing and what did L. Ron Hubbard plagiarize from psychology and psychiatry. And, you know, not as a you have to go get therapy, but just normalize it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Don in Wu. Father was minister, does not speak to me nor anyone from the community. I'm all good on the organized religion front. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, us too. Seriously. Seriously. Enough. Billy Bob 123. Mark, just uh, FYI, I, I am the original Billy Bob. Billy Bob. There was an <laughs> yes. imposter in the chat before, and I agree, disconnection is not good. Thank you, Billy Bob 123. <laughs> oh my gosh, I knew that Billy amazing. Bob 1234 wasn't an imposter. Yeah, I knew. I, seriously, we we can see a see a, see an imposter from a mile away. Yeah. We have gr we have good good uh, go. OSA ingrained skills. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Thank Double you, Love Sherlock. Sure yeah. Yes. Yeah. That clears that up. Yes. Valerie Bolajack. Amish shunning is different. Children are given 18 months to explore the world outside. If they choose to go English, they are not shunned. If they come back and take a vow to God to remain in this faith and break it, that's the shunning event. Interesting. Yeah. That's yeah. very interesting. So yeah, see, even the Amish are more forgiving and more uh, receptive and more um, promoting Modern. of of well, friend, of uh, family choice. relationships yeah. than Scientology. I actually yeah. watched a whole episode on this, and that's exactly what happens when they get to a certain age. They let them go mm. out, and they say, they you know, out. go be kids and go do what you're gonna do. And if when you do all that, you decide, no, I'd rather go back to the way we we live life. Then right. you come back, and if you don't then that's up to you. So it is yeah. what it is. It is very different because we are told, well, yeah, go out, be part of the world, but that's all the wogs and they're all bad and everything's horrible. And so, yeah, yeah. you're going to be all flipping burgers and drug the rest of your and life and they're all drug <laughs> yeah, dealers. Everything and, is bad. Only yeah. we are good. <laughs> yeah. Mark the door set SP. I heard a stat that there were 70 to 80,000 clears ever passed since the 1950s. Half have either have died or been declared. Is this stat is this true stat? If so, with eight billion people on Earth, it shows clearing the planet is not working. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's I'm, mathematically no, I'm, impossible. I'm, they I'm can't one even of those clear. Clears. Yeah. They can't I, even clear yeah. their zip code. How are they going to yeah. clear the planet? <laughs> but but that is correct. Scientology numbers and gives you a clear number. Now. The fact that they are up to about 79,000, I think was the last one I put on my blog, doesn't mean that there have actually been 79,000 because every org gets allocated uh, like maybe 1,000. Like, so Detroit org may have the numbers for the clears that they make of 67,001 through 67,500. They may be up to 67,002 by now, 
uh, leaving 498 numbers out of the 80,000 that have not actually had a clear attached to them. So the maximum is 80,000. Yeah. Over and also, the entire history yeah. of Scientology. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, <laughs> at least if let's just pretend there's 50 real thousand, at least 40 of those are either declared or dead or not in Scientology anymore anyway. So it's a total joke that they think they're going to clear the planet. And if any right. Scientologist is watching this, I uh, hate to break it to you, but mathematically, you should just put your put your broom down and go back to the real world and, you know. Actually, you the planet is getting <laughs> less less clear each day. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. It's exactly true. I've done this on my blog many times. How many people are born each day? How many yeah. people die each day or week or month or year? And how many clears are made? So yeah. there may be a thousand clears made this year if they're lucky. Yeah. There are another 47 million people added to planet Earth. So they've just gone down by 46 million 900,000, 999,000. Yeah. <laughs> but even somebody year, told me it's only about 100 a year right now. I it's know. not even a yeah. thousand a year. That no. somebody told me the the current statistics, it's about a hundred a year, if that. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Gary Meek. I don't know what this is, Mike. Mike, do you put B D F A O F I after your name? Do you know what this is? I have no clue what that is. I mean, -F -F I know what Y S C H O B is. I figured oh. that one out. I was wondering if this is an Australian thing or a sports thing. I don't know. Uh, it's a Gary, Gary Meek thing. Gary Meek yeah. thing. Who's we don't know what that is, Gary. You'll it, have to. Probably. He's going to say it. He'll say it somewhere. Um, Somebody yeah. will tell us. <laughs> um, Britsy74. Claire, could you show, explain your son's second art piece? Oh, yeah. This is. Uh, is that a Star Wars? It's an elephant. Oh. oh. Yeah. So, um, anyway, I'll, I'll His have legs to are kind of skinny. I was going to say, it looks like a camel and an it elephant like got one together. It looks things from Star Wars. Oh, it's, yeah, it looks it like has, an at-at. It has an actual jewel on it. You have to See? back up. Oh, wow, it's really good. Oh, the elephant part is really good. It's like yeah. really the good. body, it's just the legs. If if he cut it off where you're... It's, Mike, it's art. That's yeah, a reflection in the water, Mike. I'll, it's a I'll reflection. I'll ask him about it. I'll ask him <laughs> about okay. it. It's, it's usually how they do these projects is it's based on a specific artist yep. Same. and imitating them. Right. So we need to know which artist it is, and I don't know that, but I'll find out. Yeah, I like it. Pee Wee Thank Herman. You. <laughs> Prostate <laughs> Alex. How would OSA go about getting a non-Scientology friend to spy on an ex? Do they just offer money in return for dirt or info, or is it more covert? Um, I would say, Alex, that it is more covert. Um, it is someone, I mean, the way that they have done it with me in the past is they'll have a PI approach someone and say, we're working on a confidential investigation into human trafficking or into drugs in the neighborhood, drug dealing in the neighborhood. And we have an eye on this particular house over here because blah, 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 blah. blah. And if you have any information that would help us in our investigation to put an end to these horrible crimes that are being committed in your whatever that's more likely we're happy to reimburse you for any expenses blah 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 so the money comes in eventually but there is a story because if you just walk up to someone and say here i'm going to pay you 100 pounds or 200 bucks or whatever to give me some dirt on this person the likelihood is that that person even if they take the money is probably going to let you know yeah. So they yeah. want they try and do it in a fashion where it makes it seem like they're participating in a legitimate investigation that is being done. I mean, yeah. I've even had these guys basically say with the DEA, you know. Yeah, right. You did you threw out a blah blah blah, Mike. I did. I did yeah. I think I did too. Yeah. That was good stuff. <laughs> Catherine Olson, <laughs> comment. There is an internet unit in Scientology Media Productions that takes care of updating the Scientology website. I'm sure Miscavige has to approve anything done on this. Yep. Oh, no question, Catherine. Yeah. Yep. 
Apostate Alex, re TC helicoptering in. What's funny is he didn't just fly in and out. He circled a few times around the property to make sure everyone knew he was coming in. <laughs> yeah, there you to go. To be fair, that's a chopper thing. That's not a TC. It thing. is. It, that <laughs> is exactly right. Wow. I like blaming it on TC. Better. I know, yeah, but we, if we know it's not, we can't. We can't say it is. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, champagne hands. Question, is being part of a click farm above or below body death? <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. a great comment. If yes. Scientology was smart, they would do BTs activate. You could get 10,000 views with one person. Oh, there you go. Honey, I, do that again. I thought we were supposed to have a coordinated thing. No, we didn't have a coordinated thing. I showed Claire the secrets. You ready? Let's oh, do it again. No. Do, do it again, honey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> By the way, that is a Salvador Dali um painting called The Elephants. And it he did oh. a really good job matching. He it. did. Yeah. Nice. Yes. There you Christy go. Lynn Wilson. Disconnection isn't just cruel, it's bad strategy. If you want someone's heart to be softened towards your belief system, how would shunning them do that? Scientology isn't faith but obedience. Yes. Yes. 100 percent I would yes. only change the word obedience to control. Yes. Both words. Control yes. and yes. leverage. Yeah. Beautiful yes. day. I had a pastor tell me the most cruel thing someone can do to another is pretend they don't exist. Hugs to all. Yeah. That's the feeling that you have. Yeah. When yeah. they disconnect from you that you don't yeah, that's exist. That's hardcore. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know, that's one thing that you guys just said, leverage. If you guys want to know what L. Ron Hubbard, how he thinks, the Battlefield Earth book is a Scientology uh, origin story. Battlefield mm -hmm. Earth. The Cyclos are psychiatrists. That's why they're called the Cyclos. But um, everything in there is about leverage. The whole movie is about who has the most leverage and how do you get what you want by using leverage against another person. And that is that really at the end of the day is the moral of that uh, of that story. And that's from Ellen Hubbard. And if you want to and if you want to know how Scientology views the Wog world, Mission Earth. Yes. Yeah, that's oh true. That's a great example. Mission Earth and Battlefield Earth are Scientology stories cloaked in fiction. And the amount I say this all the time, but I'm not going to say the word but it has three X's in it. And that is Mission Earth is space uh, XX, triple X. That's what it is. The whole book is the most unimaginable vulgarities that take place <laughs> in this book. Um, like Especially volume four. Yeah, to uh, volume yeah. four is. Yeah. I never read any of them. This, thank oh God. Oh my God. Teeny Weenie. Is there one called no, Teeny, Teeny Weenie? Whopper. Teeny, Teeny Whopper. Whopper. Holy Salt and moly. Grease is the, um, you know. <laughs> so Teeny glad Whopper. I missed Jetter, all those. Jetter Heller. Yeah, you didn't miss anything. Trust me. I mean, oh my gosh. Nightmare material yeah. right pick there. Up, yeah. Pick up volume four. 14, we should do a volume. We should do a volume four greatest hits. I don't and just know if go through. work out on YouTube. <laughs> that we can do it. It just won't be a monitor. Right. video but okay. it'll get a lot of clicks yeah <laughs> uh, candy licorice was one of the um characters as i recall i just remember that teeny, teeny whopper, whopper had an insatiable appetite is that is that ap bad. is that accurate yeah teeny whopper yeah and yeah can teeny whopper candy licorice did some really bad things and anyway yeah. whatever moving yeah. moving along all right Catherine, Don't S. remember that <laughs> do you think osa pays tax exempt dollars for youtube premium to watch sptv definitely yeah <laughs> definitely they they pour, pour mi millions into SPTV advertising. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dr. Berg's a advertising on our channels now too. Oh, excellent. Oh, yeah. Dr. Berg, who's Love Dr. Berg? Dr. Berg That's is Ian Ian Falco's Rafalco's dad. dad. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. He's this uh, keto doctor YouTube right. uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. He's a YouTube doctor and he gets a lot of hits and he advertises on all the SPTV channels that are monetized. Oh my god. Mickey, did you guys watch Dave Dave's two episodes regarding the the Dianetics? I is this on is this on his uh, Scientology channel? Because I can't yeah, say I, watching I don't that watch stuff. I, I banned that from my house. <laughs> yeah. I've blocked. Mike it. puts it on every now and again just to see what's going on, and it's so nauseating. It's yeah. Oh, yeah. oh he's anyway. talking about the Scientology episodes I, on Dianetics. Yeah, I yeah. think oh. so. Maybe we'll have to check it out. I'm yeah. gonna do a reaction video. I found some videos on their channels. 
Oh, they're amazing. They're horrible. They're no, horrible. Oh, we should do amazing. that together, Mark. We yeah, will you, have guys, a lot of you guys do that. Christy and I will they're have a cup so, of tea. I'm, and, yeah. And, uh, yeah. I've, <laughs> down, I've already got that. them ready. I've it's already got them triggering. in the can, and too I've triggering. been making notes. <laughs> I, I mean, I can watch it, but it's just horrible. It's just, I know. It's just anyway. They don't, know. anyway. Okay, let's go. Andrew Humphrey, Captain Davy starts his flight training on Thursday. Pictures will be incoming. <laughs> Stay tuned. Yay. Okay, so I know what this is about. Um, Andrew Humphrey, we have had some shipping issues, but finally Captain Davy of the fake Navy has arrived and he's, he trains pilots to fly like pretty amazing planes. And trust me, I've seen some amazing planes. As you guys know, I do avionics updates and all kinds of fun stuff for my work. So I'm so excited to see pictures. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. <laughs> We're getting, we got 11 more to go. Miss right. Withholdy, do any of you know what <laughs> happened to Cal Cole, C-O-A-O-L-A? Oh, I remember Cal Cole. I don't yeah, know Yeah, so do I. Him. Don't know. What was his, his wife's name was Chris Cole. Yes. Yep. And yeah. she's still there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, maybe yeah, someone, know maybe happened. someone knows and they can tell us. Yeah. Maybe they can go on the connect site. Putting it on the, put it on the missing person directory. There you go. Yep. Sarah Forbear, Christy, how did you first meet Mike? Did you know of him beforehand? Yes, I knew of him. Everyone knows of Mike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I first met Mike very, very briefly when I was at the imp base and he had to brief our team on what was happening. The OSA flaps in the East US before we fired out. And that was the first time I ever met him in the Sea Org. And then after that, I, we were introduced by a mutual friend, um, Hayden James, when we were here in Clearwater. So that's how we met. And the rest is history, folks. Mm -hmm. You know, Claire, yeah. you should do a Scientology Stories episode with Christy and it can on her on their channel and on our channel. Yes. Yeah, we can do that. Yes, we did. definitely. I, I we didn't... talked about doing that a long time ago. And then, you know, we we folks have lots of things happening. But yes, we'll definitely do that. But if I say it in here, then other people will, <laughs> will t get asked yeah, you to do you're, it. Yeah, you're exerting peer pressure on me to get it done. I get mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, trend four four four. Claire, will you tell your scary story? Yes, I definitely will. Not not today, but I will. Just stay tuned. Coming soon. <laughs> stay tuned. Westland, <laughs> love love guys. Binge watching all SPTV channels. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. There you go. Jen Nelson, super sticker. Thank you, Thank Jen. You, Jen. Pioneer eight six three. Getting out of Scientology seems like lose lose process. How many? Take one own life, truly scary stuff. More groups like the Aftermath Foundation are needed and Scientologists must find out that help is available for them. Yes. Yes, exactly. unfortunately, that is a that is a problem in Scientology as well with Sea Org members and Scientologists alike. They There's a lot of mental um, issues that go untreated and unrecognized by Scientology. And unfortunately, there that I mean, I, I think all of us know somebody who's unalive themselves in Scientology. Yes, yeah. we do. Um, but we do now have a clinical coordinator who's a mental health professional that uh, works with the Aftermath Foundation. We have some amazing programs coming on that front with some just incredible experts um, that have offered their assistance to uh, like there's already a, a guidebook in creation for example that explains all the terminology and the basic principles of scientology that somebody offering mental health assistance needs to understand um, to be able to help somebody who has the mindset of a scientologist so we're working on it but yes it's absolutely very very hard but we're we're making it as uh, doing everything we can to make it easy for people or easier for people to get out. Yes. Alex is peachy. I work at a housing nonprofit within walking distance of a COS org. Any advice for social workers helping homeless former Scientologists? Can they be referred to the Aftermath Foundation for help? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Very yeah, definitely. Well, sh <laughs> they should, um, you know, Alex, please email Claire because I think we might be able to, um, we we should we should we talk some, over we email. have some resources and we also have some even other programs that we're not going to talk about publicly um that would exactly tie into that so yes definitely please shoot me an email um we will be there there are things we're doing behind the scenes let's just say that are intended to target people who really need help 
Um, but at this point, we are literally, um, like we just got our first applicant for the um, $10,000 annual education grant that we've, that we implemented in honor of Rosemary Brown. So we are literally trying to help as many people as we can. We're helping more people currently right now as we speak than we ever have before. So our goal is to keep that growing and growing and growing. Yes. Yes. Okay, Catherine S. If Scientology had Rum Springer, there would be no second gen. So I Googled this, and this Rum Springer is um, the thing that we were talking about, yeah. the, or the thing that was mentioned where they're allowed to go out and experience. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's um, true. That's true. exactly right. Yeah. It's true because when you see these kids having a good, great old time and partying it up, you're like, oh, yeah, they would not go back to the Sea Org yeah. after that. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if if somebody had even just offered to to adopt me, I would have avoided this <laughs> organization. Like seriously, yeah. <laughs> Mrs. T. Rush, I missed what blah 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 means. That's the whole point. It means nothing. It's a filler. It just means etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, more, more, yeah. more. It's usually when Mike is explaining something, and he could give us another thousand words, but then he just puts in blah 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 because there's yeah. exactly there's, it just. You could just keep saying more about the same thing. More, more, more. It's, it's Mike's version of yada, yada, yada. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there, there you go. go. Yep. <laughs> Gary Meek, bitter defrocked apostate on the fringes of the internet. That was his abbreviation. Right? Oh, 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 nice. Excellent. Oh, my Excellent. God. Yes. I, I, knew, I knew he would say what it was. <laughs> I know. I Googled that, Gary, and it didn't come up. So yeah, that, that is actually. Shows you, that shows you how much. Scientology does not contribute to the Urban <laughs> yeah. Dictionary. Isn't that one of the things that Miscavige's yes. writers used? It's not, yes. Mike didn't make this up. It's literally no. the words it's they in the used. Freedom. To yeah, it's in the Freedom, Freedom Magazine. Freedom Magazine. Freedom Magazine. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, that's what they- get that Freedom Magazine out and, and do something with that one day. We yeah. should we so even do We're a review video. We're all on the cover video. of that. All yes. of us are on the cover. Yeah. I'm, I'm in a bush. I mean, come on now. Seriously. <laughs> well, I'm with you. I'm with you. I can't even remember where I am, but I'm definitely on it. Yeah, I was just like, you know what? Go Aren't ahead. Aren't you in a maid's outfit or I something? I'm in something terrible. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. they you know really... what? You know what we say, Osa? Go right ahead. Yeah. Underestimate <laughs> us. Well, Why well, don't you? Well, <laughs> well, apart from the Tommy Davis video, that Freedom Magazine got more people out of Scientology than any other thing. Yeah. The 100. Tampa yes. Bay Times and Freedom Magazine, they yeah. kind of did it. It was like a one two punch. Yeah. And. That's where Aaron, I didn't Aaron, wasn't Aaron floating around at that time? Yeah. Wasn't he one of the people that that kind of was like, ooh. Yeah, yeah I think Yeah, so. there was a lot of other people in Scientology that are out now that yeah. got out from those uh, magazines and uh, yeah. that Scientology put out. <laughs> yep. Oh, I Crazy like new project of Farsec. Fiction acting like fiction disguised <laughs> as fiction. There you yes. go. The, uh, what yep. is that? What is that? Triple F? Yeah. <laughs> oh, We're talking like fifth wall fourth <laughs> sixth wall breaking the sixth wall there. yeah we're almost done here don in Yay. wyo i get joel olstein commercials check that guy out 10 million house plastic surgery and a line of suits christian minister leave cos and join joel Pew. Ugh, yeah no. no leave yeah. cos period don't That's find true. anybody i used find, to say find your freedom find your point of view find your yeah. mind Find your love, find your peace, find your happiness. I used yes. to say Scientology was the North Korea of religions. We should just say David Miscavige is the Joel Olstein of churches, of uh, of Scientology. He's oh, there. Kim uh, Jong Un. Yeah, he's yeah. the Kim Jong Un. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey, Doug's channel, Knoxville Road, with two of four. Don't okay. know what this is. Yeah, Not sure. I think this same person keeps saying okay. Doug's channel. Okay. Auto Mickey, so sorry. Me. Autocorrect hates me. Doug's channel. How is Zenu still alive? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He, he's an intergalactic overlord. Yeah, you, you can't insert logic into science fiction. That's not how yeah. that works. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy New 12. Is it possible for AF Foundation to put together adult coloring book together, maybe using drawings from Rosemary and others to be used for mindfulness? Very wow. possibly. Um, we have some ideas on that, so we'll keep you posted. Cool. Stay tuned. We have lots of amazing things coming. Thank you, Samantha Miller. All right. We made okay. it to the end. Wait, one, one more. 
Oh. Thrown at the end. DP never in. Tried to read the truth rundown, but the link to part three on the website doesn't work. I think I was on the aftermath site. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. 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 Make a note. Fair enough. All All okay. Right. Last giveaways and we're out, right? Yep. yep. Yes. Okay. That was the last winner. I'm going to hit draw again. Doosh. Oh yeah. We got twice the number of entries. So uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Wow, Island, Island Lady. 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 <laughs> Congratulations, Island Lady. Island Lady. <laughs> Congratulations, Island Lady. You win our giveaway. Send me an email, Claire at blownforgood.com with the link to what you would like. Awesome. Perfect. I'm just going to put this one up. Whenever I see somebody say this, I never get to send a message with my sticker. Oh, <laughs> there you go. There's your message with your sticker. Um, <laughs> You can't say never anymore, says yep. Mark. Okay. It's done. You're off the list. Uh, no more nevers. Uh, never say never. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and the final word for the half of you watching that are not already subscribers. Please subscribe. How yes. is that possible? Yes, How please. Is that Ask possible? them nicely, Mike. Ask them nicely. Please subscribe. <laughs> please subscribe. Osa, subscribe. Osa there we will go. tell you they do not have access to our subscribers. No, they uh, do not. You know, we have uh, NordVPN or whatever oh else my we have going God, on. God, look at you, Buck. You're just like yeah. rolling through all these it's things. Well, yeah. yeah, you got it. You're supposed to do that. And heavy. also, um, you guys can subscribe. Um, YouTube sometimes unsubscribes people. Subscribing is free. It's free. <laughs> it doesn't cost anything. It's free. <laughs> Oh, I like that clip. clickety click. I know Mark missed it. I went like this. While no, we I saw. I, I see. I just don't have to react. I don't love every time that you do your little silly thing. <laughs> Sometimes well, you totally, you it's totally raining should. in here. Nobody says anything. You know, it's so it's much like, whatever. Fun. It's what it is. Um. <laughs> Show offs. <laughs> yeah. Show off. As soon as as soon as I fix Claire's uh, computer, so it would do it. Um, I was fixing it for some other reason, but then I go, oh, now that I've made it, so it does this, watch this. And I showed her, and she was like, oh, wow. Oh. I was like this. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. God. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, <clears throat> we'll be back who knows when uh, yep. sometime. Don't well, probably next into... Monday. Yeah, and don't we may have a surprise next Blown Monday. We're good on uh, Wednesday. We have two. Yes. Two we're back doing to back things on Wednesday. We're doing a live with Mike Brown, and we are going to talk about uh, multiple break ins to the international headquarters and escapes that all happened in one night. And um, we're going to go through it in detail. It's going to be, I think it may be as good or better than the last escape story that we did. And, um, and then right after that, we have a live with uh, Matt and Amy. Yes. Perfect. That's on Wednesday. Yep. If you click the bell notification and subscribe, you will be notified when that goes on. So just saying. Um, yep. Okay. All right. Go. Bye, guys. Thank you, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.